Hi, hello and welcome. So there's been a lot of talk in the news about superconductors. For once, there's actually popular news about an area that I specialize in. So I first heard about this when a family member of mine told me that there were two different publications having claimed to have achieved room temperature superconduction. The education and experience that I have tells me one thing, it's bullshit. Number one, development happens incrementally. Currently, we only have superconductors that operate at absolute zero. You would think that the development of usable superconductors would occur incrementally. Do not think that we would go from needing to have helium cooled near zero degree temperature superconductors to, to room temperature superconductors all in one step. That's like saying I got in a car in California and then I appeared in New York. There's a process in between as you go from one to the other. That's not how development happens. It will happen incrementally. First, you would have superconductivity at absolute zero, and then you would work to maintain the superconducting properties closer and closer to room temperature. And that's a delta of about 400 degrees Celsius. The claim of superconductivity at room temperature would absolutely revolutionize utilities, industry, semiconductors, transportation, anything that has to do with magnets, anything that has to do with currents, circuits, conduction of electricity. It would revolutionize society and how industry operates and is organized. I am highly skeptical of any unknown party claiming to have made such a discovery. Now, I haven't actually dug into the papers, but let me take a quick look to see if I can suss out anything just by looking at it. Okay, so I took a look at the alleged paper, and I can tell you right now, it even at a glance from someone that's been out of academics for about 10 years, it looks extremely unprofessional. Pictures used to demonstrate the experiment are not, to my experience, usually used in sciences. Rather, you would have a diagram or at least a better higher resolution picture, considering you're talking about the greatest discovery of our times. It has Korean still in it with typos. For example, I found this text in the paper, and when I get a translation, this is what it says, which instantly begs the question of who reviewed this? How well reviewed is it? If you're leaving in typos in your paper and some for review, how can I trust anything in your paper? Taking a look online, it seems like established scientific publications also advise caution and skepticism with this claim. Scientific American has an article out also calling into doubt the claims of the, of the South Korean superconductor paper. If I had to place a bet, it's that someone wants some clout, somebody is misinterpreting or misrepresenting results for whatever reason and these claims would be debunked i would think that as superconductors develop there would be an incremental approach to room temperature not that would occur over many development cycles in years not one jump from near zero to room temperature that's like about 400 500 kelvin difference Technology and science develops incrementally, not in such massive leaps and bounds. That's like saying that we were able to get the first heavier than air vehicle off the ground, and then the next year we were able to land on the moon. It's just too much of a jump. Anyway, just wanted to put this out there because I've been seeing this in the news a lot. Let me know if you have any questions about material science or superconductors. Thank you very much. Later.